Hello and welcome to this video about how to send a Dolby Atmos signal from a PC to a TV and getting it all to work. So what I have here is a PC with a graphics card, which is an NVIDIA RTX 4070. And I'm going to show you how to get it all to work without any third party software or third party hardware. So the first thing you want to do is to grab an HDMI cable that's plugged into the PC and then you plug it into the back of your TV. So here we have three HDMI ports. We have one and then we have the two that's also an ER port and then we have the third one. So I'm going to plug the Xbox into the third port which is not the eARC one. And the reason why I'm doing that is that when I got the PC, I plugged it into to the soundbar. So my soundbar has three inputs. So in there, I have the switch, Xbox, and I wanted the PC to be plugged into it as well. However, the sound was not working. I did that and I was getting no sound from the PC to the soundbar. Even though it was working perfectly for the Xbox and Switch, I tried different cables, it didn't work. And the reason is there is a bit of a HDMI or eARC issues with some soundbars in Windows, which means that for some soundbars, unfortunately, eARC and HDMI don't work that perfectly. So this soundbar is a Samsung Q95T. It's a 9.1.4 soundbar. So it means that it has nine forwards facing speakers and four upwards firing ones plus a soundbar and i have a gorgeous lg c1 and i play a lot of single player games and therefore i like to play my pc on the tv and then the next step is to take the hdmi cable from the soundbar and plug that into the e port let me fix the focus So now that's plugged in. So for recap, PC plugged into a non ER HDMI and the soundbar plugged in today to, to the ER one. So now let's go to my PC and continue the installation from there. Welcome to my PC. Before we install and configure Dolby Atmos, it might be a good idea to go back to the manual and refresh ourselves with regards to the number of speakers that the system has. Uh, and this will enable us to then diagnose and check whether all speakers are working. Uh, my soundbar system is a Samsung Q95T. That's a 9.1.4 system. And the nine means that there's um, nine different uh, speakers that are basically facing you. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and the one is the subwoofer there is a picture of it there and the four stands for upwards firing speakers so in this case on my speakers there are four upwards firing ones there's two on the soundbar itself and one on top of each of the rear speakers as you can see in this picture so your system might be 7.1.2 or if you buy a soundbar in year 2027, it could even be like 12 by 3.20 or whatever. So do you have a quick look? And now let's go ahead and check out the system settings. So here I would simply type in sound and that can take us to the mixer and here we can see my microphone and output device is the TV and the output device up there is the computer itself. And I also like to have a look at sound mixer. Uh, where is the system sound? Change system sounds. Then I will go to playback and click on the TV and click configure. So we, here we have all the different configurations, so stereo, quadraphonic, surround, 5.1 and 7.1 as well. So even if you haven't installed Dolby Atmos, 
5.1 might still work. However, it might not work for YouTube and some games that deliver 5.1 in Dolby Atmos format. And if I click on Dolby Atmos for theater, I can see that I cannot select that option. Instead, it recommends that I visit the store to download the Dolby Access app. But let's just go ahead and click stereo just to check that the sound actually works. Yep, that works fine. And I can even try 5.1. Uh, device is being used by another application. Let's just press no in case it cancels my microphone. Um, and then for Dolby Atmos, nothing is playing. So let's just click visit store, install. It's a free app. It's also a free app on the Xbox Series X. However, I believe on the Xbox Series X, you pay for the uh, Dolby license. Uh, let's wait for it to finish downloading. That's the download finished. It took a little bit longer than I expected because I have a uh, 900 megabit download speed. So I expected that to finish in five seconds, uh, but took 15. Okay, here's the Dolby Access app. Activate Dolby Atmos for headphones. Customize our audio, audio settings. Discover exclusive games. Skip all of that. And let's go to products. Dolby Atmos for headphones. That's not what we want to configure we want to configure Dolby Atmos for home theater. So please turn on your Dolby Atmos device and connect via HDMI to your PC. I've done that. Yep, it's detected my TV. Let's play a sound. Yep, the sound works. Press continue and click experience now. There should be a place I believe it might be the home setting where we can test whether the sound works. Center. Right. Right surround. Right surround is working. Left rear surround. Right rear Left surround rear is working. Left surround. Left top front. Right top front. Right top rear. LFE. Great, that was a successful test. All the different channels are working. However, it might not work on your PC and sound system. So there are a few reasons why things might not work as expected. And a good place to start is the sound mixer. Uh, where is the settings? I wanna see all the different sound devices. Um, let's right click. I believe there should be different settings. Like it's a little bit annoying with Windows because uh, settings are all over the place. Um, but, oh, here we go. Yes, managed to find it. So system sound or sound devices properties. So here you can choose different uh, um, audio format. So I tried the Dolby app and you can see that the audio was in Dolby Vision. Um, however, if it's not working for you, make sure that you've selected Dolby Atmos for home theater. And that's what I'm going to do now. Quick test. I think the test in Windows is a little bit slower, but I have selected it there. Yeah, sound is not working. And I'm going to go down here, choose Spatial Audio. And I can't hear a sound either. Oh, there we go. Now I can hear a sound. That center, subwoofer. Yes, left rear, right rear. I think this might be the up, upwards firing ones. So here you go. So if it's not working for you, go to system sound, all sounds properties, and make sure that you've selected Dolby Atmos here and that you have also chosen spatial audio. Occasionally, the sound 
might actually change like output device could change from your tv back to the sound card on your computer or if you periodically connect headphones or if you have connected a accessory like a microphone that has an audio jack for headphones then the pc might automatically select that instead and as a result it will not be outputting the the sound to hdmi and i sometimes get this issue if i plug in my um, tca thrustmaster controls for microsoft flight simulator so do have a look at those settings periodically to just make sure that everything is selected and if you're doing that whilst playing a game um, i just recommend right clicking here click volume mixer and right away you'll be able to see what the output device is and that also the volume is up as well so that's one setting and then the other one right click is the sound setting that we were in before so it can get a little bit confusing in windows because there's so many different ways of getting to audio settings um, so do always open like all the ones that are basically possible uh, and check that everything is as it should but that is all for me and as you've seen here i haven't had to download any third-party applications or do any hacking whatsoever the sound works as it should and you can then also test the sound in your games you can basically click and see that everything is good thank you bye bye